Did you know that there are two brand new communities currently being built in North Merced? In this video, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about these new developments so you can find your new dream home. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Willie and I'm your local real estate agent in Merced. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of two brand new communities in North Merced that are currently under construction. I'll be going through details about the new community, including their locations, floor plans, and pricing for Montera and Lantana. The buying process for new construction homes and why you should use my help to get through the process. And what you should do when interest rates are now higher than they were before and how you can still afford to buy your dream home. The two new communities, Montera and Lantana, have been in the works for a couple of years now, but have only just started construction at the end of 2022. And since they're only in the beginning phases of construction, they are releasing new homes a small handful at a time as they come close to being finished. The first new community by D.R. Horton is called Montera and is located in the Bellevue neighborhood along M Street to the south of Bellevue Road and to the north of Cardella Road. This is actually the sixth and newest phase, so you may also hear it referred to as Montera 6 with the first five phases located just to the south of this newest addition. Once it's complete, this community will have 61 new homes with the earliest completion date in spring of this year. As a side note, I actually also live in this Bellevue neighborhood near Montera, and there are two main reasons why I like it. The residents here are all new to Merced, and they mostly come from larger cities like LA and San Francisco, so it's a little easier to form a bond with your neighbors as everyone is eager to know their neighbors and form a close-knit community. Montero is also in a great location. It's a five minute drive to UC Merced, 10 minutes to Costco, under 10 minutes to the freeway, and five minutes to the nearest retail plaza, Yosemite Crossing, with Sprouts as Merced's newest grocery store. Montero 6 has five different floor plans, ranging from three to four bedrooms in single to double story varieties. The square footage of these homes range from about 1,400 to 1,900 square feet and with prices starting in the low 400s up to the mid 400s as of April this year. Next up we have Lantana and the homes being released here will be part of the very first phase of this brand new community which means prices will be slightly less compared to later phases. It's located just north of Yosemite Avenue and just to the east of State Route 59 which gives you quick access to 99 the main freeway of the Central Valley. Once completed, this community will have a total of 98 new homes. So what I really like about this community is the fact that to the north is protected land so that residents in this area can enjoy nature while also having the same convenience of the Montero community in terms of distance. Montana not only has the very popular Adams and Coolidge models, which are also in Montero 6, but it also has three larger models, each with five bedrooms the Kennedy, the Lincoln, and the Monroe. By the way, these are all former presence names if you haven't noticed. Montana plans to offer homes that are a little bit bigger than Montero 6. They will have three to five bedrooms in both single and double story versions, and even one with a multi-gen floor plan, which is basically an in-law unit with its own entrance, and is great for extended family or even to rent out to a UC Merced student or to put on Airbnb. Square footage for these homes ranges from 1,500 up to 2,500 square feet for the five bedroom models. In terms of pricing, so far Lantana has only released the four bedroom models for sale, and they are generally in the mid 400s. And for the five bedroom models, they should be offered closer to 500,000. Now that you know a little bit more about Lantana and Montera, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the home buying process for these particular communities. Buying a new construction home is actually somewhat similar to buying an existing home in terms of getting a pre-approval letter, signing paperwork, getting an appraisal, inspections, and so on. But the main differences with buying a new construction home are that you can customize options like cabinet colors and finishes before they start building the home. You would also generally have to wait several months for your house to be completed depending on the size, complexity, available workers, and supplies. As opposed to buying an existing home, where going through escrow generally takes about a month. And finally, you generally don't have to worry about other buyers bidding for your dream home way above asking price like we've seen recently with resale homes. 
So what do you have to do? The first step is to find a real estate agent who specializes in new construction homes. Luckily for you, I have worked with many clients and I help them buy their brand new home. I'll be able to guide you through the process from choosing a floor plan, securing financing, and negotiating with the builder to get the best possible deal. Once we've found the perfect home for you, you'll need to get financing ready. Although I recommend getting pre-approved for a mortgage before you start shopping. You can definitely do it when we start your search too. If you need help with this, give me a call and I can point you in the right direction. Once you get a pre-approval letter, this will give you an idea of how much you can afford to spend. And it will also show Dear Horton that you're a serious buyer. You can either work with the lender directly or use a mortgage broker to compare rates and terms for multiple lenders. DR Horton often has an in-house lender that has incentives like a few thousand dollars off of your closing costs, easy settlement without worrying about an appraisal coming back too low, and even a lower interest rate that you can't find yourself. But as attractive as those incentives sound, I would still recommend shopping around for a loan so you can always compare and make the best financial decision for yourself. There's many times my clients have opted to go with an outside lender simply because DR Horton's lender was not able to compete on the terms. One concern that many people have when it comes to buying a home is rising interest rates. While it's true that interest rates have been on the rise, I've been seeing signs that rates are starting to stabilize or even peak. Since we probably won't be going back to the days of 2 or 3% interest rates that we saw during the pandemic, we are likely returning to the historic average of 5 to 7% interest rates that we've seen over the past two decades. The current 30-year fixed mortgage rate of about 6% is right in the middle of this historic average. I can't predict the future, but I always tell people that you can always refinance if interest rates ever do fall back to 3% again. Because home prices and interest rates generally move in opposite directions, a lot of buyers are seeing slightly lower home prices in this higher interest environment. So depending on your situation, it might be a good idea to just go ahead and purchase a dream home at 6% and then refinance if rates ever fall back down again, as opposed to waiting years and years for interest rates to fall while home prices naturally increase and you end up having higher monthly payments and having lost out on equity and appreciation in the future. In 5 or 10 years down the line, you most likely realize that the small changes in interest rates don't really matter in the long run since you'll be gaining a lot in appreciation. I hope you enjoyed the tour of these two amazing communities and learned a thing or two about buying a new construction home. As your real estate agent, I specialize in helping you find and purchase your home, especially with new communities like Montana and Montero. If you're interested in learning more or would like to schedule a tour of these communities, feel free to reach out to me and I can get you started on buying your dream home. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more real estate updates and tips on how to make the most out of your home buying experience. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So what do you have to do? The first step is to find a real estate agent who specializes in... <laughs>